So today I want to share with you a topic that I actually find quite difficult to talk about, you know, publicly. And that's because of how intense and triggery this subject matter is when it comes to spirituality. And yet, it is, I believe, a really, really important subject to really discuss, to look at, to investigate, to dive deep into so that you can take your next step in your empowerment journey because this aspect is very, very wrapped up in your empowerment journey and it's also very much linked to your ability to create an impact in the world with your gifts, whether those are spiritual gifts, whether those are um, creative gifts. And this subject matter is money. It's money, it's anything to do with money and abundance. And there is a, a lot to unpack in all of this. I also appreciate that it's a subject that for some people can be very triggery because of the amount of programming around it. Huge amount of programming around it. So I know that probably when you listen to me, it may pull up a lot of um, feelings within you. And that's a good thing. But what I'll ask you to do is, as you're listening to me, just try to stay in the position of the witness. Try to just witness what is going on within you as I am speaking about the subject, because that is where you're going to get the most healing. That is where you're going to get the most shift, the most potentiality of a shift within your energetic system around this. So let's just unpack this a little bit. Um, there are so many facets to this, like so many facets to it that I can't cover everything. I'm just going to cover one small bit of it, but it's a, it's a big bit, I feel. So for a lot of people who are very, very spiritually aware, that are very committed to their spiritual growth, what can block them from getting out more in the world with their gifts is actually blocks, subconscious blocks, perceptions, beliefs around money and also a lack of their ability to tap into the energetics of abundance. There's two things going on there and both of them need to be worked out and this really is like a massive, massive focus. So I would say for myself, if I look part over my journey over the last 30 years, I've always been like my spiritual growth, my ascension journey has always been my top priority, always. I've always been very driven like that, it's just how I came in. Um, and it's just something that I've always, always been passionate about ever since I was about 16, 17. That's been my main focus. 
even from the jobs that when I was 18 that I went into, they were kind of that way inclined to start off like with holistic alternative medicine and then moved much, much deeper into spirituality. And everything I earned, literally, apart from just, you know, having to pay rent and, and buy for food and whatever, would be reinvested back into um, courses, into workshops, into books, into basically expanding. For me, it was actually expanding my knowledge base, expanding my understanding of myself and the world around me as it relates to spirituality. And I, over the years, I got to a point where I was purely just working with the ascension process and supporting others in the ascension process, in their ascension journey. And it was really about empowering people. For me, it's always about giving other people the tools so that they can empower themselves. That's a, that's a big thing for me. And I got to a point in my journey where, you know, I would always just have enough money to get by and then whatever little bit I had left I would then put it into just you know more workshops more courses more learning you know I mean I literally spent hundreds of thousands literally on expanding and developing and investing on my investing in myself and then one day it it suddenly dawned on me that what if if I needed if I wanted to go further if I wanted to impact more people I would I really needed to look into my beliefs and my perceptions around money because what I was doing was as I just felt this, you know, I just felt compelled to get out there more, to support more people. And I felt, well, if I kept on going deeper and deeper and deeper into my learnings and um, into the knowledge I was acquiring and deepen into that, then I will be able to be more of service and support people. But what I hadn't understood until that point was that actually a big part of, of what was blocking me and supporting getting more out into the world was actually my blocks around money and my inability to connect into the energetics of abundance. Now these two things really do work together and it it does take like this is the inner work. It is the inner work because what I found working with hundreds and hundreds of clients over the years is that a lot of us when we're spiritually aware as we are will most likely have had lifetimes where we've had vows or contracts or taken pledges or oaths around money and living in poverty. It kind of tends to be like one of the things a lot of us would have been through. And the issue with that is that, well, there's two things with that. The first is, if you do not clear that within your energetic system, what happens is that it's just running in the background. It's consistently running in the background. So it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how much hard you work. It doesn't matter how much you study or how much you know or how much you devote to to your spiritual 
to your spirituality or to your creativity and really develop those skills, if you do not get if you do not get in place this piece around money and your relationship with money, it will just create this glass ceiling for you all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time, until you clear it. So the first thing is, is to first of all, connect into and, and clear any vows, any oaths, any pledges that you will have may have taken in a past life, but that in itself is not enough. Now, the reason that that's not enough is that yes, you'll have cut that vow. So you would have said, right, that's enough, is enough, now stopping that. You're kind of revoking it. But you then have to build like, the energetics around abundance because it's the energetic state, it's the vibrational state of abundance that will then magnetize more abundance to you, right? So if you've been living in a contracted state energetically, around money and abundance, because in past maybe because of vows and oaths or pledges or and or because of growing up um, in your environment where your parents never had enough money, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you're patterning, like your patterning is programmed in that way, then your ability to open up and receive the energetics of abundance so that you can feel it, expand into it, hold it, and literally crystallize those feelings within you. If you don't do that, like on a very, very regular basis, then you, you're not an energetic match for the level of abundance and money that you wish to bring in. And that is the point that I got, I think it was about in 20, 9, 2019, 2020, early 2020, that I realized that I actually really needed to look at this now. And it means something that I've been resisting. And the reason I had been resisting, and this was just a block in and of itself, and this may be a block that you have as well, was that I felt that if I you know, focus on the money, if I focus on that, then that meant that I wasn't a very spiritual person. Go figure, right? Like, really, when you think about it, how ridiculous is that? Like, it's a bit like saying, right, okay, if I focus on my health, if I focus on my physical body and look after myself, then that means I'm not, and like, you know, care about the way that I look, you know, et cetera, et cetera. That means I'm not a spiritual person. It actually doesn't really make sense. Now, I'm not saying that the totality of you, is when, it's when it's in balance, it's when that's all you're thinking about or, or focusing about, and there's no connection to the spiritual world. But this is, but that's not you. That's not you. And so what I find for a lot of spiritually aware folk is that aspect of their lives, because we're living on a planet, right? We're, li we're here, incarnated with a, with a physical body, having to deal with very physical, material things. And these things need to be addressed and they need to be looked at. They need to be... Um, kind of observed and you know work out the energetics around that and one of those is to do with our relationship to money and the beliefs and the perceptions that we hold around that because if that isn't in place it means your abundance the energetics of abundance will not be in place 
which therefore means you cannot be a vibrational match. And this is just a natural universal law. If you are not a vibrational match for something, it just, with the law of resonancy, how can it get in? So for most people, they have to work hard, really hard, or you might be doing something that you don't really love. What you really love is like working with your creative gifts or your spiritual gifts, but you're not manifesting through that because you may well have blocks as in uh, uh, thinkings and perceptions around life has to be hard, life has to be a struggle. Or um, if it's spiritual stuff, you, you know, you shouldn't be earning money for it. I mean, there could be a myriad of different perceptions and, and belief systems that are all tangled in on that. And it's really important to unpick them because if you do not unpick them and really focus on um, cultivating the energetics of abundance, then it will stop you from getting your creative and your spiritual gifts out into the world. So once I started to place some of my focus on working with money in terms of focusing on the money, and I needed to focus on the money to be able to see and connect into what were my perceptions? What, honestly, what what was I thinking around, what were my thinking around money? What were my perceptions around money? And that meant I needed to focus in. I need to focus in and see what was really going on there so that then I could make conscious choices as, as to whether to hold on to a specific belief or let it go, right? But if I didn't focus in on the money and my relationship to money, then it would just run in the background. It was just running in the background and just kept on creating the same for me. I would always have, you know, it was like a sort of glass ceiling around the the, the amount of money I was coming in. The minute I started to focus in on the money and focus in on the perceptions, the beliefs, and working with the vibrational my own vibrational patterning around abundance, that's when everything shifted. Everything shifted um, in my life because of it. And so what then happens is you then get to that next level and then you've got to break through another glass ceiling and then another level. And then it becomes your choice as to how much you can allow in to your life. How much abundance can you bring in? How much abundance are you able to open up to and hold within your energetic system? Which therefore means the, your perceptions and uh, your beliefs it's that next level of looking at those perceptions and beliefs around it. And to me, because there has been so much um, hijack, I like to call, I actually call it hijacking actually, hijacking of spiritual beings that have come onto this planet who have got a mission, want to be of service, want to support the world, this planet in in this ascension, this great ascension that we're in, um, but are struggling to get out there and to earn a living, and so therefore cannot fully devote their time and effort into it. Have to take on different jobs, right, to support themselves um, in that. So much of it is to do with programming around money, abundance and spirituality and all of that. So there's a a lot to unpick. Some of these perceptions and beliefs you may be kind of slightly aware of. Um, A good key in is just to look at your parents and what, you know, how how they dealt with money. What was their perception around it? And 
many of you may have like an intellectual understanding around abundance, but are you actually tapping in and feeling it like every single day? Are you actually crystallizing and expanding into even more, right? So, so for me, what I've really recognized is that although I really love, I, I actually do love discussing this and talking about it, but at the same time, I don't because of how much it triggers in others and other people and how much people can really get quite um, angry. It can really create a lot of anger in people. And I feel that's because the patterning is so deep and it it's disempowered so many amazing people that have incredible gifts, in, incredible abilities, incredible talent, that just don't get out there because of this whole issue around money and abundance. And so this is one of the reasons why I felt joy, it was literally only thing last week, that I just thought, you know what, I'm going to do a 21 day abundance immersion so that we can fully, whoever wants to join me on this, really deep dive in this, and so every single day, for you know, it's not going to be long because we're going to be every single day, but between, I say, 10 and 20 minutes, I'm going to just take a certain facet of this. Uh, we could be looking at self-worth. We could be looking at specifically abundance. We could be looking at um, a specific aspect of money and our relationship with money. We could be looking at um, uh, our ability to open up to more abundance and what may be blocking us um, within that. We're literally looking at any and all different facets of this really, really big topic. And I'm going to just talk for about 10, 15 minutes and then I'm going to pull in, uh, I'm going to suggest a specific activation, specific transmission for you to listen to because it's, to me, there's two aspects. The, there's the one aspect, the decoding. So the decoding is, is being examining and getting really clear on your perceptions and your beliefs around money. Not the ones that you think you've got, but the ones that you actually have got. Like the ones that are actually driving what's going on for you. And if you're not sure what those are, I would say, okay, what are you currently experiencing? What are you currently experiencing in your reality when it comes to what you're earning, the money coming in, and what you're, you know, how you're living your life? Are you living your life? Are you pulling in and attracting um, abundance through your gifts and through your talents? If you're not, then I would suggest there's, that there'll be stuff going on there underlying stuff that's going on there for you that I want to support you with. I want to support the whole group and supporting myself so that we can get to this next level, whatever that next level of abundance that you're wanting to tap into. So, so for some of you, it may be that you, you know, you're aware of your gifts, you have gifts, whatever they're spiritual gifts, creative gifts, entrepreneurial gifts but you're not using them and, or you're not creating abundance through them. So you've got another job, right? Because it's, it's not, it's not good. So that could be where you are with that. Or for some of you, you are solely working with your gifts, um, but you're ready to take to a whole nother level of abundance coming in. So again, there's going to be perceptions and beliefs that are blocking you from taking that next level. For some of you, you may not have even connected into your gifts or um, your abilities, but you just know that there is something more for you. You know you want to be of service. You know that um, there's something within you that needs to get out. And 
you know, by working on this piece of the puzzle, by working on the energetics around money um, and around abundance and around spirituality, is going to support the totality of this. So we are going to uh, do a 21 day abundance immersion. And the reason for doing the 21 days is that this is, this, is, this is what it takes this amount of time, right? Of total focus and commitment every single day. That is the power of these 21 day immersions. I've done a few of them already. I did one on the Divine Oracle. I think I did a couple on Divine Oracle. And then I did one on the Empress as well. And they were so amazing, so powerful. You know, we created like a huge vortex of energy and we kind of all ride that wave. Now, the really exciting thing about what's going on right now is the energetics right now are just so amazing for this. So on the 18th of May, which is on this Saturday, we've got a really, really incredible astrological event that some astrologers are saying is the best day of the year energetically and then going on to Sunday and that's because it's all around your destiny because it's all around the north node and it's all about um, the energetics to support you to really move into your destiny uh, in, in a hugely expansive way. And this is because it's around Jupiter and Jupiter is all around expansion. It's all about luck. It's, it's, it's a really, really amazing energy of growth, expansion, um, manifestation. But it's in Taurus and Taurus is all about the physical, which again is manifestation and abundance and making something real. So it's not all in the sky, it's not the dreams, it's actually grounding in and making it real. So this weekend is really, really potent for that. And it's not that it's just this weekend, it's like everything that you set in motion this weekend is like gonna create a huge wave going forward. And this is why we're doing it this on, on Saturdays. We're starting this abundance challenge on um, Saturday because it's really the most awesome day out of the whole year that we could do something like this. And it's why I'm so ex excited. Now, I'm running this container within my Earth Star Temple membership, but in my Temple Impact tier. So my Temple Impact tier tier includes all my temple activates so it's my main membership which is all around um, working with sacred sites working with the decoding working with the recoding um, you know really potent spiritual energy but the temple impact includes all of that but also includes a lot of my major programs to do around money and spiritual um, business and manifestation. So we got my quantum manifestation program, you get that with that. You also got my divine soul business program that goes with that. Um, and also awakening the magician program as well uh, with that. And it's a, a monthly membership. I put it down to a monthly, I had one in a year, but I've decided to put it down to a monthly for people so that you can you know, go month by month and you're going to get receive all of those programs within that. I think we get the first one released, which is the manifestation, the month first month, and then the second month you'll get the divine soul business, so that it doesn't overload you, as well as we're doing this challenge. So you're really going to have everything you need that's going to cover for you for the energetics, for the energetics around abundance and money. So. I'm really, really excited for this challenge. If you would like to join, I'll put the, the links um, below. It is uh, $297 a month. Um, 
and yeah, you've, you've got everything you could possibly need. There's so much in there as well as this daily focus and the group as well. So if this is calling to you, if you, you'll just know, like to me, it just feels right. You'll, you'll just know, you'll feel the calling. You'll go, yes, this is for me. Um, the link is there. If you are already a part of the Earth Star Temple as either an Activate member, a Sanctuary member, Lunar member, just uh, upgrade and um, the, my team back end will, will, will rejig it all for you um, afterwards. But we're starting on Saturday, so I want you to all get in so that we can just all start and uh, get moving with this whole vortex of energy. So we've got the astrology behind us, like the best astrology for the whole year, really, when it comes to, to this kind of energy. And I know so many of us have been through such a huge, uh, well, few months really because there's been so much around Chiron going on for us and so many of us have been feeling this new I know I have and to me this is like the kickstart to actually get it into the physical now much much more and I know that so for so many of us a massive part of that block will be around these underlying subconscious uh blocks around money and spirituality so let's go let's burst through those blocks let's do this together let's move forward let's use the energy of the group as well as the astrology so that you can really really you know do what you were meant to do come here for why you came here on this planet right so really excited i can't wait to to get going and um, you know, support everybody. Now, if you have any questions whatsoever in general around this whole topic, I would love to know because I'm going to be using those questions, and we're going to, you know, I'm going to be unpicking them, unraveling them, and and supporting everybody um, in looking at things in a different way, shifting your perception in a different way around it. Okay, so much love, take care, bye.